Okay. So, this is my practice head right here. And I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, going back to the green. Gonna need that, gonna need my ball tools, both of them, two sizes. I prefer metal ball tools over plastic because it doesn't stick quite as much as the plastic. Oh. Oh, ah! All yeah. these little things that make it easier for you. Yeah, which is one of our absolute goals. Is to make things easier. Make easy. it easier. Okay, so I need a big old clump. So I need to make sure I mix this up pretty well. I need to take some shortening, pop the shortening on here. And I'm not sure how dry that chocolate is, so this could be dangerous. Mm -hmm. I've got to just be careful. Okay? Whew. Okay. Everyone, you know, cross your fingers. See if it's gonna work for me. Okay, <laughs> roll this into a pretty good size ball here. And then I'm going to put my hands like this and just kind of make it a little bit more into a teardrop with a little more of a point here. And then what I want to do is make a little, kind of help it out here, make a little bit of an opening here, the bottom. And then I am going to pop it on right over like this and press this down. I want to get the shortening off my hands. So I'm pressing all that down a little in the back. And then I need to get this down over the front. What shortening are you using? Uh, this is just normal. Normal Vegetable. shortening. Yeah, I don't use good shortening for this. Like, getting good shortening would be a high ratio shortening. So this is just for glue? Yep, basically. And see, it would be better if that wasn't in my way, but you know. <laughs> What can I say? I can hear him now. Can you do the leaves after? Yes. Okay, so then I want to just kind of push this in. I'll cover a little more of that later and kind of smooth it out again. Cool. All right, then I need to give him a smile. So I'm gonna use the knife tool right from underneath, push in and kind of curve up. Okay, then I need to do the other side. So I'm going to push in here and kind of curve up. And that's just a basic fondant tool? This is the Knife Inscriber by FMM. It's one of my favorite tools. We have them at the Cake Cottage, too. Of course. Of course, but most cake decorating shops carry them because they're so awesome. And again, it's called an FFM, FMM. 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 <laughs> knife Inscriber tool. Then I'm going to take the medium ball <clears throat> tool. I'm going to hold on to the little bugger's nose, and I'm going to push, actually push in and lift up a little bit to make nostrils. Push in and lift up a little bit. Oh. Woo! So now we've named him. What a schnoz. <laughs> we've named him already, he's Little we Bugger. Have, he's what? <laughs> you just call him Little Bugger. Little Bugger. All right, that works. I almost wanna, cause some of those snappers okay. really get that, snap that. Okay, I'm gonna do um, a few little lines kinda here. <laughs> Okay, so the large ball tool push in and then slowly go up and down a few times. If I do it all at once, then I just actually tear the fondant. Okay, so it was in and then up and down a few times, in, up and down a few times. And we'll do a couple little creases like in this area here, like so. And I think that's pretty, whoa, what happened to him? Hmm? Mm. Wow. Not good, huh? Mm. Okay, and then where I've seamed it here, I may as well go ahead and make a line down there, and then it'll look like it was on purpose. Well, that's good. Camouflage. Right. Okay, look at him. Her, I guess. She's all flowery, right? No, it's not his Little fault. bugger. Little bugger walked through the Little garden. Little bugger. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so I've got some... Um, black and some white fondant. I'm going to make the eyes, so I'm going to take a little of the white. For the folks that don't, are not, not familiar with Susan, there's uh, there's sound effects. That there's go sound along effects, with this. and I was be. about to skip them. Yeah, can't do that. Can't do it. Whenever you want the perfect oval eye shape, then you take a ball like this. You take your finger, place it right in the middle, and you just roll e e e three times, and you have the perfect shape. I always say if you do e e e e e e e e e. 
then it's going to be way too long. And if you just do E, E, then it's going to be too short. Three E's. Three. Not O's or I's. Yeah, doesn't work with any okay. other letter. Doesn't. E, E, E. Okay. And then we'll pop that in. Hi. Hi there. And then we'll take a little bit of the black. 